In this video I'll be creating a provisioning package that goes from off the box experience to user's desktop without any user interaction. For software installation I will have a mix of two methods, one of them is using Chocolatey to get the latest version for the software and also I will be using PowerShell to perform offline software installation. And I will be using offline software installation because I also want to set the applications that I will be installing offline as my default applications. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objectives for this video. Like I said, for online software installation I will be using Chocolatey. And using Chocolatey I will be installing 7-zip, Notepad++ and VLC. Then I will also be performing offline installation for Google Chrome and Adobe Reader. And performing the offline installation will allow us to set the default applications. So I will set Google Chrome as the default browser and Adobe Reader as the default PDF reader. Also, I will be performing other necessary steps to go from out of the box experience to user's desktop without any user interaction. This includes skipping out of the box experience, skipping the privacy experience, creating user admin without a password and also disabling sleep because we don't want uh, the computer to go to sleep during the provisioning process. And here you can see the execution order for this package. I will be only using a single action in the Windows configuration designer and that's to skip out of the box experience. Everything else will be scripted in PowerShell. As you can see here, the first script that will be executed is ubisetta ps1 script. And this is the main script that is responsible for all the configuration and also executing and configuring other scripts. The first script that will be executed by ubisetup is ubichocolatey. This will install chocolatey. Then after that it will execute ubisoftware. This will install Adobe Reader and Google Chrome. After that it will execute another script called Ubi Associations. This is responsible for setting Google Chrome as a default browser and Adobe Reader as a default PDF reader. It will also create a user admin without a password, skip the privacy experience, disable sleep and also it will configure active setup to execute another script called desktop provisioning. And desktop provisioning PS1 script will be executed outside of the provisioning process. Basically, it will be executed after all the actions that you see here will be performed. And then after the admin user will sign in for the first time to the desktop. And all of this will happen automatically. And desktop provisioning PS1 script is responsible for software installation. And as you can see here, because we are installing software using Chocolatey, first it will wait for network connection. After the network connection is detected, it will install 7-zip, Notepad++ and VLC. And one thing to know is that because we are using offline software installation for Adobe Reader and Google Chrome is that you will have to update this package from time to time if you want to have the latest Adobe Reader and Google Chrome versions inside of the package. Anyways, now I will begin this video by downloading all the necessary files for the package and I will start with the software installation packages. And as you can see here, I will be downloading Chocolatey, Google Chrome and Adobe Reader. So let's start with Chocolatey, this brings me to the Chocolatey GitHub page, I will click on the release, scroll down a bit and here we are looking for this MSI file that I marked, I will click on it and that should start the download. The next package is Google Chrome, I will click on the link, click on download Chrome, here for the channel I will leave it at stable, for file type I will select MSI and then I will click accept and download. And the last package is Adobe Acrobat Reader, so I'll click on it. Here for the operating system I will select Windows 11, for the language I will select English, and for the version I will select the only one that is available, and then I will click on Download Acrobat Reader. And if I go to my Downloads folder, here we can see that we have all the three necessary software installation packages. Yeah. Three of them, Adobe Reader, Google Chrome and Chocolate installation file. And now that we have all the installation files, we need the PowerShell scripts for the computer provisioning and for that I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have all the scripts that I will be using. The main script is Ubi Setup, I will click on it. As you can see here, it's the main script that is responsible for the configuration and executing other PowerShell scripts. In the beginning here we are executing Ubi Chocolatey and Ubi Associations. After that it will create a provisioning folder and move a few files from the provisioning package to that provisioning folder for executing software installation after the provisioning process inside of the user's desktop. After that it will execute a script called Ubi Software. After that it will create a local administrator's account. 
it will configure active setup to execute script called a desktop provisioning for the software installation with chocolatey and also it will skip privacy experience and configure the power settings so that the computer does not go to sleep during the provisioning process and to download the script i will click on the button right here now let's go to another script let's click on ob software this script is responsible for installing the software inside of the also the box experience the offline installation so it's for installing adobe acrobat reader and google chrome and here we have the file names make sure if you're using the script to double check if the file names didn't change because as you can see here the acrobat reader has a version number inside of the name so most likely after a few weeks this name will be different and also we need to provide silent switches for the silent installation and basically the powershell script will go through this list and execute each of the packages Anyways, let's download by clicking on the button right here. Let's go to another script. Let's click on OB Chocolatey. This is for the chocolate installation only. Let's download it. And then second one is OB Associations. Here I'm using PowerShell to set Google Chrome as the default browser and Adobe Reader as the default PDF reader. Let's download it. And the last one is Desktop Provisioning. This is the script that is responsible for software installation using Chocolatey after the um, provisioning process. So this will execute in the user's desktop. As you can see here, we have a list of packages that I will be installing. So 7-zip, Notepad++, and VLC. It will wait for the network connection and then it will execute the installation for the packages. And in the end, it will uh, write all done and wait for the for you to close the command prompt because it will be visible and you will be able to see the progress anyways let's click on the button right here to download the script and now we have everything that we need for the provisioning package and now to create the provisioning package i will go to my windows configuration designer i will click on file and then new project i will name the project package then i will click next next here i will select all windows desktop editions and then click next and then finish now first step that i will be performing is skipping the out of the box experience and for that i will go to runtime settings then ubi and select desktop here for hide ubi i will select true and that's basically it the second step is to execute the ubi setup script and for that, I will go to the provisioning commands. I will go to device context. I will click on command files. And here we need to package all the files for our provisioning package. Now I will click on browse, go to my downloads folder. I will select all files that I have here in my downloads folder. So I will select all the PowerShell scripts and the software installation packages. Then I will click open. Here I will click add. And as you can see, all the files appeared here. Now we need to configure the execution for the ubi setup ps1 script and for that I will go to command line. Then I will go back to my github page because here I have the command that I will be using. Basically we are using PowerShell setting execution policy to bypass and then providing the script that we want to execute. So we'll be executing ubi setup ps1 and then ubi setup ps1 will execute everything else. So I'll click on the button right here to copy the snippet, go back to my package and insert the value here. And that's basically it. And now to create the package, I will click on export provisioning package. Here I will click next, 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 and then build. And now I will click on the output location. And in here, the only file that we care about is package.pkg. So I will right click on this file, I will copy it, and then I will go to my USB drive and place the provisioning package in my USB drive because I will be testing this provisioning package and it will show you how it works. And to do that, I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows 11 virtual machine that is in the out of the box experience. And the only thing that we need to do to execute the provisioning package is to connect the USB drive to the computer. In this case, I need to connect it to this virtual machine and then Windows will detect the provisioning package and it will start the provisioning process automatically. Now to connect the USB drive, I will just go to the VM, removable devices. I will select the USB drive that I want to connect and I will click on connect. And that's basically it. Now we need to wait and see if the provisioning package will execute successfully.
And as you can see, the provisioning package was executed successfully. Here on the desktop, we can see that we have auto back robot reader, Google Chrome. And also we can see that all the packages, the chocolatey packages were successfully installed. Also, if I go to start and default applications, let's click on Adobe Acrobat Reader. Here we can see that it is set as the default PDF reader. And now let's go to, go to Google Chrome. And here we can see that it is set as the default browser. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.